G'day guys, this is the 2023 BMW G310GS, uh, my bike in colour money gold, and uh, the accessories and bits and pieces I've been putting onto it, using a little time lapse from uh, underneath the Westgate Bridge there, for uh, in between each of the sections, so let's get into it. Alright, the chairless handguards are here in red, matching up with the uh, frame, good solid pieces of equipment, got a black, uh, sorry, black plastic over a metal spine, uh, mount over the top of the bar, and weights so you don't get as many vibrations and I have crash tested them or bump tested them and they work really really well and they're comfortable. Uh, next up we have paint and graphics, not too much in this area, um, painted the rear hand grips just for a bit of fun and some Red Bull stickers over the bike, uh, different points and also on the uh, O'Neill helmet I've got just to uh, make it a little bit personal and uh, it's always fun. Gibby panniers, top box and rails. These things are awesome. Came across from the F800R I had and uh, they mount up really, really well. They can look a bit weird because they'll bounce around slightly independent of the bike and the frame, but they work awesomely. Uh, separate key to the ignition so you can get them on and off. You can open them up, the tops will lift out and heap of gear you can get in there. Tents, camping gear, all sorts of stuff. Towards the end you'll see uh, what may have mounted up with all the snow gear uh, for some of the bush trips. Midas EO7 tyres, uh, comparison between the stock originals and these tyres, a lot of fun, work really really well, uh, yeah sloppy mud, highway, uh, dust and dirt, all really good, going a bit slower if it's a bit crazy and that's just the way it is, uh, not too expensive, look awesome which is nice for the cafe time so uh, yeah, you can just appreciate them when you need to. Over on the uh, next section what do we got here, we have Oh, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> We've got the BMW heavy grips, RAM mount, rental bars, and USBs. So, I've uh, gone with everything genuine. Uh, rough prices, we'll get into a little bit later on, but um, rental bars, when I did lay the bike down slowly up in the bush, bent the bars, so I went with the rentals. Uh, full size, RAM mount for the phone. Heated grips are genuine, fitted by uh, BMW in Ringwood, picked them up from Doncaster Ringwood. They do replace the right hand grip, which is good to hang on to, so you've got it. USB just tucks in beautifully on the front. It is mounted behind the console, so there's a lot of labor involved. So uh, it is something that's sort of beneficial, I think, to add the bar risers, uh, which I picked up through BM, BM Ringwood. And uh, yeah, just good bit of kit all around. Raises up, nice and comfortable riding position. The bar rises at 25mm, I've uh, got a couple of additional RAM mounts and you can see the front, the mount points there for uh, either either side uh, for the uh, chairless handguards. All nice and clean, just take your time, make sure your cables aren't going to bind or catch. Uh, I'm just using USB standard cables zip tied in so they don't get caught and make sure when, you, well, I'm say make sure. Do play with your, hand, your handlebars, full lock either direction, up and down the suspension to see if it catches, binds, gets caught, because you don't want to find out when you're out on the road, because obviously that's just going to be bad all around. Acro pipe from BMW, so it's a genuine part. Uh, they tell me it's uh, all legal and everything's great, which is awesome. I have been out to uh, the guys at Custom Classic, they made up the tip there and then uh, added that to the baffle. Uh, two reasons, one cuts the sound down because uh, it's quite noisy in my opinion. I've put an internal baffle as well and then also it curves away from being on the panniers. As you can see here, uh, if it was stock it comes up and hits the bottom of the pannier and the Gibby plastic and so not great. When you get the Gibby pannier mounts for this bike it does come with a little adapter to put on the OEM exhaust uh, and then it curves or deflects the uh, the uh, gases away from the back of the bike and away from the pannier mount. So in this case, I got the custom one done. Guys do awesome work, wasn't too expensive, and uh, yeah, just works a treat, sounds a treat. Gibby engine bars, these have been tested <laughs> many times. Just slow drops here and there uh, with the hand guards and also the Gibby panniers or rails. It just keeps everything nice and lifted off the ground so you're not getting damaged. Easy to mount up, nice and solid. Prefer them over the OEM. Personally, I find my boots, for whatever riding style I have, uh, catches a little bit on the genuine ones, but the genuine ones I had on an F800 back in the day, and they were quite good. I like the black, it just works in nicely with uh, with the rest of the color scheme. I mean, aesthetics is second to uh, crash testing, and it definitely works well. So up at Mansfield, I did uh, have a slow backwards roll, bike went down, I back salted, and that was the outcome, so yay. It's always good to film your own stunts and do your own uh, bits and pieces when you can. 
Next, we've got the tall seat OEM, genuine part. Uh, you can see the thickness in there. It doesn't look a whole lot, but it actually is amazing. So when you see photos online, they seem the same, but they work an absolute treat. Done a lot of kilometers in the saddle and it just raises it up. The bar rises and the seat, super comfy, super well positioned, and uh, works on-road, off-road, and just a heck of a lot of fun. All right, prices, tyres, uh, it's going to vary location, around 400 or less fitted. Uh, again, it depends on what you choose for, what's available, what's in stock, if you've got to pay for shipping. Uh, the seat, uh, 550 Australian, uh, no fitment, you just put it straight on, ready to go. A crow pipe, $850, the tip was about another $70. Uh, and then I put an additional baffle on the inside, which I think I picked up for 50. So, uh, yeah, not the cheapest pipe. There are a lot of other options out there, but it came from BMW. It's all genuine bolt on, as in like a genuine accessory. Uh, buyer risers were $100 before labor. The USB was uh, just under $50 before labor, and the heated grips, which uh, come with additional parts, they've got quite a bit to that, around $380, and then fitment. It's about $500 or less for all the bits and pieces to get bolted in. There's a lot of labor, they have got to pull the whole front end apart. Getting Beamer to do it meant that everything worked, so you didn't have to worry about binding cables, stretching, any issues, everything was just set up perfectly, which was wonderful. Uh, with the bars, their rental, $160, again, depends where you go to get them, uh, and they just fitted in quite nicely. Wanted to keep all the original bits and pieces, so I did not go to a fat bar by decision. Um, paint was like, you know, 15 bucks for a can of paint and your own labor. Engine bars, about $280, if I remember correctly, and the Gibby rear was probably similar for just the, the racks. Uh, all the rails that go onto the bike and they come with uh, extra bits and pieces so the indicators relocate to the rear and once they're in just awesome they bounce around no problem at all on top of that you've got the actual panniers and that's where it does get pricey you're looking up around i think around 1800 or more uh, i've had them for quite a long time they've been over three different bikes uh, from memory and so uh, yeah once once you get them they are a good bit of kit they've bounced around used them up in the snow as you've seen uh, Everywhere, just all over the place, high country, things like that. Ram mounts, you can pick those up from um, a number of places. A lot of people are going to different sorts of setups for uh, cameras, phones, etc. And uh, that's just what I've chosen to go with, and they, uh, they work really well for me. Anyway, thanks a lot. Cheers, guys. Ciao.